everyone. There are other additional visibility concerns heading into tonight with another round of snow that is currently tapering off, but it's the blowing snow like we see just a little bit right now on our on the roof of our station here. As you see on our 13 WREX camera, you can see little bits of snow still blowing around, and this is creating hazardous travel in parts of our area at this hour, likely to continue for the for the rest of the night. As you see on Exact Track radar, light radar returns are going to taper off over the next few hours or so. So it's not necessarily the falling snow that's the concern. It's the blowing snow. That's why we have winter weather advisories in place across the entire area. That's that purple shade you see. It's going to last until about three o'clock in the morning. That's when we're going to see the worst of the blowing snow beginning to end across the area. It's mainly the north south oriented roadways in open and rural areas that we are really worried about that we could have some pretty bad road conditions out there. So with these wind gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour, that's going to lead to blowing snow. That's going to taper off though after three o'clock and by six o'clock in the morning towards sunrise, maybe seeing conditions getting better on that front but the temperatures are going to be just as bad. We're going to be down to seven degrees below zero for a low tonight. Factor in those winds, that's going to bring us wind chills at around 30 degrees below zero, some places even lower than that. That's why there are wind chill warnings. Now in the last hour, this was expanded to include Winnebago and Boone counties. This is a wind chill warning, meaning wind chills as low as negative 35 degrees are possible. This is in effect for northwestern Illinois until noon on Tuesday. Note Tuesday. The rest of Northern Illinois, this is in effect from midnight tonight until noon tomorrow. That's when wind chill advisories will take over. For Northern Illinois, once that advisory takes over, it lasts until 9 o'clock on Wednesday. For Southern Wisconsin, we have wind chill advisories in effect until noon tomorrow. I have no doubt in my mind that those are going to be extended into early next week because we have dangerously cold conditions. Wind chills negative 25 to negative 35 tonight, but it's going to be tomorrow night into Monday morning and again Monday night into Tuesday morning. That's when we're going to have these wind chills very low. Negative 30 to negative 40 potentially in spots are these wind chills. So dangerously cold conditions. Air temperatures likely to stay below zero entirely from tonight through the day on Tuesday. We have wind chills day in the daytime as high as negative 15. So when wind chills get these low, this low, you want to limit your time outside. You know, if you can, if you are going to be heading out outside, wear extra layers. Just try to cover up any exposed skin as much as you can. Also, make sure to take care of those pets and the kids as well. Like you heard Dylan Valencia say earlier in this newscast, very important because frostbite can happen in as little as 15 minutes in these cold temperatures that we'll see over the next three days. Days. We warm up in quotes Wednesday, Thursday, highs getting into the teens, lows still at or maybe just below zero through next weekend. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we'll notice maybe warming back up to near or above freezing, but it's going to take about 10 days to do so, Sam. So we've got to make sure to bundle up over the next few days. Yeah, get the layers out, John. Thank you.